Right now, as you watch this video, billions of tons of volcanic rock are sliding toward the Mediterranean Sea. Europe's most active volcano isn't just erupting, it's collapsing. And when Mount Etna's eastern flank finally gives way, the resulting tsunami could kill millions across three continents. This isn't speculation. Scientists have discovered something terrifying. The entire southeastern side of Mount Etna is moving as one massive block, sliding into the sea at accelerating rates. The last time this happened, 8,000 years ago, it reshaped the entire Mediterranean coastline. But back then, almost nobody lived there. Today, over 25 million people call the Mediterranean coast home. What makes this discovery so alarming is that researchers only recently understood the true scale of the threat. In 2018, underwater sensors revealed something that changed everything scientists thought they knew about volcanic collapse. Mount Etna isn't being pushed by internal pressure, it's being pulled by its own weight. The mountain is literally tearing itself apart, and there's absolutely nothing anyone can do to stop it. The numbers are staggering. When Etna's flank collapses, it will happen in minutes. Walls of water 100 feet high will race across the Mediterranean at jet speeds. The city of Catania, home to 300,000 people, will have less than five minutes warning. Malta will be hit within 30 minutes, Greece within two hours, North Africa shortly after. But here's what should terrify everyone living near the Mediterranean. The collapse has already begun. Mount Etna towers 3,357 meters above Sicily's eastern coast, though that height changes constantly. Every eruption adds new layers to the summit, while gravity tears other sections away. This isn't just any volcano, it's Europe's tallest and most active, born from one of the most violent geological processes on Earth. Deep beneath Sicily, the African tectonic plate crashes into the Eurasian plate with tremendous force. This collision, which began millions of years ago, continues relentlessly today. As the African plate dives deeper, it melts, creating superheated magma that forces its way upward through cracks in the Earth's crust. Layer by layer, eruption after eruption, Mount Etna grew into the monster we see today. But the same forces that created this giant are now destroying it. Unlike stable volcanoes anchored in solid bedrock, Etna sits on fractured, unstable ground. Ancient marine sediments from when this region lay beneath the sea form part of the volcano's base. These sediments shift and compress under the immense weight above, creating a foundation as unstable as building on sand. The volcano's steep eastern flank sits directly atop the Alto Ionian Fault System, a network of massive offshore fractures running beneath the sea. Think of it as a conveyor belt, slowly but steadily dragging sections of the mountain toward the ocean depths. Every year, every month, every day, Etna slides a little closer to catastrophe. The growth pattern makes everything worse. Etna's eastern slopes have swollen over centuries as lava flows pile higher and magma chambers expand within the mountain. These chambers inflate and deflate with each eruption, creating internal pressures that crack the rock from within. It's like inflating a balloon inside a concrete block. Eventually, something has to give. Scientists describe Mount Etna as caught in an impossible battle. Eruptions build it higher while gravity pulls it down. The mountain literally grows upward while sliding sideways toward its own destruction. It's a geological paradox with only one possible outcome. For over 2,500 years, humans have documented Mount Etna's fury. Ancient Greek philosophers wrote about its terrifying power. Since 1500 BCE, more than 200 eruptions have been recorded, making Etna one of the world's most relentlessly active volcanoes. But beneath this dramatic history lies something far more sinister. The evidence is carved into the mountain itself. The Valle del Bove, a massive horseshoe-shaped scar on Etna's eastern flank, stretches five kilometers wide and plunges one kilometer deep. This isn't from erosion. This is the unmistakable signature of catastrophic collapse when an entire section of the mountain simply gave way tens of thousands of years ago. The destruction didn't stop at the coastline. Scientific surveys have discovered massive fields of volcanic debris scattered across the Mediterranean sea floor. These underwater graveyards mark where enormous sections of Mount Etna plunged directly into the sea approximately 8,000 years ago. The collapses happened suddenly, within minutes, displacing massive volumes of water and triggering tsunamis that devastated coastlines from Sicily to North Africa. Modern eruptions follow the same terrifying pattern. The 1669 eruption buried entire villages. Later eruptions in 1928, 1971, 2001, and 2021 all showed the same warning signs. Fissures opening along the southeastern flank, the mountain inching seaward with each event. 
Every eruption creates new fractures and exploits existing weaknesses. The entire structure behaves like one vast, slow-moving landslide. What changed everything was a discovery made between 2016 and 2018. Researchers from the Geomar Helmholtz Center deployed underwater acoustic transponders along Etna's submerged southern flank. They wanted to measure seafloor motion with unprecedented precision. What they found shattered every assumption about volcanic collapse. In May 2017, the instruments recorded something extraordinary, a four-centimeter shift occurring over just eight days. No eruption triggered it. No earthquake caused it. The movement happened completely on its own. This revealed something never before documented at any volcano on Earth. Mount Etna's entire southeastern flank, including massive sections beneath the Mediterranean, was sliding as one enormous block measuring several cubic kilometers in volume. The implications were staggering. The flank wasn't being pushed by magma pressure as scientists had always believed. It was being pulled by gravity itself. The mountain's colossal weight was dragging it toward the ocean floor, and nothing could stop it. Monitoring showed this gravitational motion often accelerates after major eruptions or earthquakes, demonstrating how fragile the system has become. Between 2021 and 2024, following several powerful eruptions, scientists recorded renewed deformation across the volcano. High-precision instruments detected movements measuring millimeters per day, accumulating into meters of displacement over years. Earthquake swarms now rattle the region with disturbing frequency. Most alarming is that offshore tectonic shifts and surface movements occur in perfect synchronization. The entire system, from seafloor to summit, moves as one interconnected failure mechanism. June 2025 marked a dramatic escalation. Explosive eruptions sent lava fountains hundreds of meters skyward. Ash columns forced airport closures across eastern Sicily. But this wasn't just surface activity. This was evidence of deep magma forcing its way into the volcano's weakest zones. Throughout July and August 2025, hundreds of small earthquakes concentrated along the southeastern flank. The pattern showed clear linear progression suggesting magma was forcing open new pathways through already fractured rock. Each tremor meant another fracture opening, another weakness exploited, another step toward catastrophic failure. GPS stations recorded surface movements exceeding anything seen during previous eruptions. Some monitoring points showed displacement rates that doubled or tripled compared to baseline measurements. The deformation concentrated precisely in zones identified as most vulnerable to collapse. The data paints a terrifying picture. Magma isn't just erupting from Etna's summit, it's intruding laterally into the weakened southeastern flank. Each injection acts like a massive hydraulic jack, adding heat and pressure to slopes already sliding under their own weight. It's a dangerous feedback loop that accelerates with each cycle. Current activity mirrors conditions that preceded major flank movements in 2002, but deformation rates don't just match those events, they exceed them by significant margins. The mountain is moving faster now than at any point in recorded history. When Mount Etna's flank finally gives way, the catastrophe will unfold with terrifying speed. Scientists have modeled the scenario extensively. Billions of tons of volcanic rock would collapse into the Ionian Sea within minutes. The trigger could be a massive earthquake, a major eruption, or the slow sliding simply reaching a critical threshold. The moment of failure would be instantaneous. Upper slopes would fail first, with debris accelerating down the mountainside and hitting the Mediterranean at tremendous velocity. The impact would displace massive volumes of water, creating tsunami waves 20 to 30 meters high within seconds. The wave would race toward Sicily's coast at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Catania, directly in the tsunami's path, would have less than five minutes. Coastal neighborhoods would be completely inundated, with water surging kilometers inland. Buildings would be swept from foundations. Entire neighborhoods would cease to exist. Potential casualties could reach hundreds of thousands. But Catania would only be the beginning. The tsunami would spread across the entire Mediterranean. Calabria would be struck within 15 minutes, Malta within 30 minutes, Greek coastal cities within one to two hours. North African shores would receive devastating waves across hundreds of kilometers of coastline. The collapse would unfold in multiple phases. After upper slopes fail, deeper sections would follow as structural support disappears. Each successive collapse would intensify the tsunami's power, with secondary waves possibly more destructive than the initial impact. These follow-on collapses could continue for hours, preventing any rescue operations. Mount Etna has become one of the most intensively monitored volcanoes on Earth. 
The INGV Catania Observatory operates sophisticated instruments measuring every aspect of the volcano's behavior. GPS stations track ground movement with millimeter accuracy. Gas sensors monitor volcanic emissions. Seismic networks record every tremor. European Space Agency satellites pass over multiple times weekly, using radar to detect terrain shifts measuring just millimeters. Since discovering that Etna's flank slides as one enormous block, researchers have expanded monitoring into the underwater realm. Ocean bottom sensors record movements linking surface deformation to deep structural motion kilometers beneath the sea floor. Despite unprecedented monitoring, predicting gravitational collapse remains extraordinarily difficult. Unlike eruptions, which often provide clear warning signs, collapses can occur with minimal warning. Scientists explore early warning thresholds based on GPS acceleration patterns, seismic activity increases, and offshore sensors detecting submarine landslides. These might provide hours of notice in the best case, but warning time might be only minutes. Civil protection authorities have eruption plans, but large-scale collapse demands completely different response systems that don't exist. Evacuating hundreds of thousands in five minutes is logistically impossible. Mount Etna has always been in motion. Each eruption reshapes slopes while weakening internal structure. Each earthquake shifts the foundation. Gravity pulls the southeastern flank steadily seaward, a process continuing for thousands of years with no sign of stopping. The movement measures just centimeters yearly, but the process is irreversible at this advanced stage. Once billions of tons start moving as a coherent block, nature offers no mechanism to reverse inevitable progression toward collapse. A major eruption could trigger rapid acceleration, transforming slow drift into sudden failure within hours. A large earthquake could destabilize the entire flank instantly. The 2025 volcanic unrest suggests internal pressure is building to dangerous levels, creating conditions matching historical flank movements. The timeline uncertainty is psychologically torturous. Failure might be centuries away, or the next earthquake could trigger instant collapse tomorrow. Over one million people live in Etna's shadow, their lives built on land satellites confirm is sliding toward the sea. Catania continues expanding despite the threat. Sicily's economy depends on tourism and agriculture in volcanic regions. Development continues in tsunami zones. Economic reality creates political pressure against honest risk assessment. The scientific consensus is absolute. Collapse is inevitable. The only question is when. The Mediterranean faces a catastrophe that could unfold faster than human systems can respond. When Etna's flank collapses, millions will have minutes to react to a disaster thousands of years in the making. The mountain that gave Sicily life will ultimately bring death on an unimaginable scale. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.